Friday Night Stitch with Sally. I can't think what number up to is five or six. Um, and apologies for, my, for being six minutes late. Um, the reason for this, I was actually live. What's that? Um, I was actually live, but what I'd done was in my rush, um, had gone on to Facebook and I was trying to get the comment situation sorted. Um, because if you remember from the previous Friday night Stitch with Sally sessions, um, there was a problem with comments. But, hi Carrie Ann, I can see now that the comments are appearing on my screen. Hi Jennifer. So, what I did, hi Charlie, um, was in my rush, because it's been a few weeks, is click on Facebook, um, went live, I'm thinking, why are there only three people? And then it occurred to me, um, after a couple of minutes, one was my husband, which I thought was strange, why is he the only one here? Um, one was a friend from my son's nursery, which is fine, she might be a stitcher. And then one of them was my husband's friend. And I'm thinking, what on earth is going on? Why are there three people? And why are they my husband, my a friend from nursery, and my husband's work colleague? At that point, I realized I was going live on my own personal Facebook page. Um, so that's why I was six minutes late. Sorry, everyone. Um, promise I'll be back into the game um, for our Friday Night Live at the end of July. Um, so it's going to be the last Friday of every single month. Um, I hope it's okay with you guys. It's just a little bit more manageable um, to just do one a month. Hi, Nicole. And the good news is, is that these comments are working again. So I don't need any other devices. Um, we can just get on with it. So tonight, guys, let me know. Um, hi, 40 people now. Hi, Fiona. I know, out of practice. I was really getting into it. Um, when I was doing them every single week, it was the routine. I knew what I was doing, the technology. Hi, Katja. Um, so it's been a while. But anyway, I'm here now. So tell me, where are you in the world? It's 8 p.m. ish in England, and it's lunchtime in America. Um, obviously, other side of the world, let me know what time it is there. Um, but most people tend to be in the UK or in America or Canada. Um, so let me know what time it is there. What are you stitching? You don't have to be doing live stitching. I'm going to be stitching um, the Get Connected, which is the free pattern, which I'm still working on. I've changed the section of the Wi-Fi a little bit. Um, and I'm just doing the shading around here. Um, so I'll be stitching that. It's nearly done. Um, and then I'll send out the free pattern to everyone. And tonight I've got... Rosé, not rosé, what's wrong with me? Rose, gin and tonic. Um, so it just tastes like a pink gin. Um, it was out of a can, but I thought it might look a little bit more um, ladylike in this glass. How are you all doing in California, Nicole? Hi, Samantha. So, Emma's in Norfolk. We went on a lovely holiday to Norfolk a few years ago. Um, we went to Cromer and Mundersley, if those are anywhere near you. Um, hi, Hannah and Melanie and Rachel. Um, so let me know if you are stitching anything, what you're working on. 72 people. Hi, everyone. Um, I've really missed everyone. It's been really strange, although I can't actually see you. Um, I really enjoyed chatting to you on a Friday night. Um, so it's nice to be back and the next one will be the last Friday of July. I don't know what the exact date of that is. Our Pims, we've got someone else in Norfolk. Sue, Somerset, gorgeous, gorgeous part of the country. My parents love Somerset. Um, you're not too far away, are you, Lizzie? Um, Mandy, Bournemouth. Oh my goodness, all over the news, Bournemouth today. Um, I don't know if it was um, an accurate description. But anyway, I've been hearing a lot about Bournemouth. You never can trust everything. Um, hi, everyone. So, you might be stitching, and I've got it right in front of me now, part six of Bloom and Grow. There's only eight parts. We've gone through this like a flash. I can't quite believe that it is nearly over. Um, but I think it's really starting to take shape. Well, it definitely is starting to take shape. Um, the problem with stitch-alongs, I find as a designer and they are done three or four months in advance um, I've done the Christmas one already which I'll talk more about in a little bit um, oh right okay 
I'm glad you like it, Kim. Hi, Gwen. Um, is that I spend so long designing it and making sure they're perfect in every single tiny stitch and colour and shading and everything. Um, and then I release it, it's all blurred, and then I'm like, hi guys, here's month one. And you get this tiny thing and everything's blurred. And it always looks a bit weird, I think. Um, so I love it when we can finally get through over halfway of any stitch along because it basically is taking shape and there's only a couple of sections that are blurred out. Um, so we've got two more months left. Part seven is July, part eight, the final section of Bloom and Grow um, will be in August. And August will be a very busy month because that is also pre-order month for our Christmas stitch along. Um, you might have seen a post on Instagram, I think I put it on Facebook as well, um, with it wasn't the exact colours of the threads, um, but it was the shortlist. So I have now shortlisted the 13, 14 um, shades for that. Um, what can I give away? There's lots of blues and not greys, but silvers. Icy. Think icy. That's all I'm going to give away for now. Um, but it's something that you guys have been asking for for a long time and I hope you really like it. Um, is it my favourite Christmas style of all time? Yes. I say that every single time, don't I? Only because I think as a designer, I learn more constantly um, and, uh, and I'm improving and the skills and everything. So naturally, like anything, I think they get better with time. Um, or you might be stitching, and I'm looking over here because I've got it right in front of me, I know it's a bit of a tease, um, Positivity Rules. So part two of Positivity Rules will be coming out on Monday 29th of June. The emails with the PDF patterns are sent out in the very early hours of the morning. Some people um, sometimes ask, am I still up? Not normally, um, but I have been the last couple of times. I always am for part one. I was still awake at one, two in the morning when I sent out the emails for part six of Bloom and Grow. Um, Emma, yeah, think Frozen, think Elsa up the, um, up the mountain. Um, so for Positivity Rules part two, if anyone's stitching that, let me know. Um, I think I've said this on the group or somewhere, but we are going up. So we are stitching above our heart and windows. Um, good morning, Hilary in New Zealand. Absolutely desperate to go there and visit. Um, not that that's going to be happening anytime soon, but in my escapism and dreams, I'm traveling around New Zealand. Um, glad you're excited, Charlie, for part two. So we're going up. Um, I don't want to give too much away, um, but it's not just one word. And there are no icons, icons, elements. So like the windows, there's nothing like that. And it's not just one word we're doing. Um, and the stitched area, because I know some people ask about how many, how long will it take to stitch each each section of a cell, um, and how big is the section, which is really difficult to describe sometimes because they're not always exactly even. I do try and have things split up. For the number of stitches so you know it's, it's easy to do um but the area the stitched area is pretty much identical to the area of month one so you can use that as a guide um so i'm really excited for you to see that on monday also on monday exciting news um my hairdressers is um not reopening they're opening for bookings um no one else seems to realize why i'm quite so excited um other than various disasters i've had with my hair during lockdown. Um, I don't think I've had it done since Christmas. Then I had really bad roots. Then I had to buy a Holly Willoughby Garnier box, um, which looked okay at first, and then it started to go yellow. So right now it's a mix of yellow, brown, and dry shampoo. Don't ask. So I'm basically desperate to get one of these appointments, which are like gold dust in my town. Um, and I feel like I'm going to have to fight tooth and nail to try and get an appointment just to have it coloured. Um, anyway, um, are you meant to go camping? Oh, Melanie's got her appointment. Well done. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Becky, that you won't get to go camping. Where is that? Are you in England? Um, we're meant to be going camping. I'm not sure if it will happen or not. To be honest, any plans for 2020, I've just assumed 
are cancelled. I don't have any, I am staying positive, positivity rules, um, but in terms of holidays, I don't like being disappointed, so I've kind of just accepted they're not gonna happen. And that way, if something does happen, um, it'll be a nice surprise. It was really funny the other day because, let me try and do some stitching, um, hence the name of this whole session. Um, we had a family photo shoot book, just a local one with a friend who is a professional photographer, but we were friends before she was. And um, uh, it had been booked for January. Something happened in January. Then it had been booked. Hi, Gemma. Um, then it was moved to May. Then something happened in May. And um, hi, Joan. We've got 79 people on now. Um, and I kept putting it back. And I thought, Do you know what, this is ridiculous. Just have the photo shoot. Um, one of my really good friends, a guy who, he and his family have a photo shoot every year. Um, it is a treat, but he says that the rest of the year, they obviously take photos, but they just have this really nice shoot. They get these beautiful shots every single year and get to see the kids grow up. Um, and he suggested it and said, you know, it's really worthwhile. Um, if Steve or Jen are on, I don't know if you're on Jen, um, and I thought that's a really good idea. It doesn't matter what you look like. Um, it's just a, an accurate representation of what everyone looks like at that time. My daughter's got teeth missing everywhere. My husband hasn't had a haircut. He's, his hair's everywhere. He's got a massive beard. Looks absolutely nothing like this anymore. Mind you, I look absolutely nothing like this anymore. Um, my hair's all over the place. But do you know what? Um, we'll look back and go, oh yeah, we were clearly in lockdown because everyone's got really long hair. Um, going grey and, uh, and brown and all the rest of it. Um, I thought I just lost my thread now. Um, Charlie, that's lovely. Thank you for saying hi to my nan. It was at, or would have been, my granddad's 97th birthday. Um, was it yesterday? What date is it? Two days ago. Three days ago. I can't, I don't even know what date it is. Um, on the 24th, he would have been 97. Um, and my nan loved cross stitch. She loved a coupage. Has anyone ever tried that? Um, hi Emma, hi Jacqueline. Um, when not designing your own patterns, is there any other designs you like to stitch? I'm just gonna answer that before and I'm gonna come back to decoupage because these comments fly up and I won't be able to um, come back to them. Um, any other patterns? Um, what did I want to do? There was one, um, I watched a video last night on floss tube from Lindy Stitches, if anyone has heard of her. Um, she's got this really, really curly ginger hair and she's in America. I can't remember what area in America, um, but let me know in the comments if you've ever watched a Lindy Stitches video. Her style is quite different than mine. Um, she does do a lot of things with text and sayings and phrases and poems and things like that. Um, some of it is more traditional um, what's going on? Um, some of it's more traditional, but then it'll be quite quirky or funny or rude or something like that. Anyway, I haven't done any before, but last night in the floss tube video, she was talking about this free stitch along. It only looks tiny. Um, and I think there are meant to be three girls or three children or something. Um, and they're really cute. And she's released part one, um, which is this little girl. Um, and they just look really sweet and I quite like the idea that it was so small to be honest um, but I do tend to just stitch my own stuff because there's so much to do there's so many designs up here and on the computer um, that need to be stitched there's all kinds of things going on um, what else I love Emma Congdon from Stitch Rovia so go and check those out I love all of her stuff um, I also really love Jodie from Satsuma Street. Um, you'll probably see some similarities if you like my stuff. You'll definitely like both of theirs. Really colourful, really modern, quite different. Um, also gifts. So I, again, if you look on Instagram, um, 80 people now, hi everyone. Look on Instagram because you'll see, um, I've got a hair, an annoying hair on me. Um, some things I like to do are gifts for people. Again, only small, you're talking like a six, six inch hoop, something like that. Um, and one thing I did was for my daughters, when she started school, it was a thanks and goodbye gift for her nursery. 
um, and her teacher really loved camping. I was trying to find out what hobbies they were they liked. Um, oh, sorry, Maureen. I'm sorry that your screen's broken. Um, but yeah, it will be on. This will be on Facebook. It will be saved to the main Facebook page. It's also uploaded to our YouTube channel. Um, we just the other day reached six thousand subscribers. Thank you, everyone. So if you are subscribed, massive, massive thanks. Um, but this teacher really loved camping, so I'd done thank you or something. Um, I've still got a hair. And, um, and then like loads of different camping icons. And my son is about to leave nursery and start school. And what, well, my idea for his nursery. Oh, Jacqueline, tell me which pattern are you stitching from Emma Congdon? Um, I think she's actually like a product designer or a graphic designer um, or does like packaging and products and brands and stuff. Um, and then also love cross stitch and I think does both. But yeah, massively talented. Um, oh, little Tokyo. Have you been, Aisha, to um, Tokyo? Or do you just love it? Um, so anyway, so this idea, and I first saw it when someone did it in embroidery, but basically you've got your hoop um, and then you just give your toddler or preschooler um, a biro or something. It would probably be better if it was washable or, you know, not invisible. You know what I mean? the markers that just disappear um, and then basically stitch over it. So I'm going to get him to draw a nice picture, maybe um, with pencil or something or some kind of chalk. I can't think. Um, I don't actually have any of those pens for fabric. Get him to draw a picture, anything. And I sometimes I think with kids like the messier the better because it's just cute. Um, and then I'm just going to stitch the whole thing and put thank you and put 2020 um, and maybe his name and they'll know um, it's from him and that was his realistic drawing pardon me it's not a pattern I've created or anything like that so um, so yes that's what I'll be working on next um, oh I love that retro kitchen one Marie I really like the one um, oh are those the pens Lizzie I didn't know that, Lizzie. Thank you very much. That's exactly what I need for this. Um, so this is my pattern. You can see how big I've printed it out, only because when I'm watching TV um, or doing this, it's a lot easier to have it blown up huge. Um, what was I saying? Let me try and get this started. This is a 28 count um, Lugana, which I don't think is the... Some people are like, oh, it's really easy. I don't think it's the easiest thing to stitch on. Also, because it's so, well, it's like a pale peach. Um, and I tend to do about 10 things at once. Um, so unlike Ada, when you can just literally see the grid and you know exactly what you're doing, I have to really concentrate on counting. So I'm stitching two over two, um, which is pretty standard for a 28 count even weave fabric. If you haven't, um, there's a new blog. It's not the most recent blog, I don't think. Is it? Ah, I've written another one. Um, but the most recent one on the blog, on the website, um, is all about Zweigart fabrics. It sounds a bit geeky, but I think it's really interesting. Um, the history of the company, where they're based, how they work, the, all the different types of fabric. Um, so not just Ada and Evenweave, not just the standard ones that I have. Um, don't look at the back. Did anyone see that Bart, not Bart Simpson, Homer Simpson thing that I put on the other day? Like from the front, lovely, and then from the back, a complete mess. Um, anyway, so if you haven't read it, go and check out the blog, um, all about Spygart. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty interesting. Um, and Bethany, who has just started, she's on Instagram as well. Um, no worries, Carla, you're here, there is time. Um, she said, let's take a trip. I think it's by Stuttgart. Stuttgart, am I saying that correctly? Stuttgart. Hi, 92 people. Thanks for being here. Um, she said, let's take a trip to Stuttgart. Um, I'm not sure going to visit the Zweigart factory warrants a whole trip all the way to Germany. Um, and then there was a discussion of maybe going via France to go and see the DMC cotton being made. Um, Maybe a DMC cotton blog will be next. It would be interesting because there are, what, 500 colours? Um, 
to see exactly how they mix the dye and get the exact shade. Um, I've got quite a lot of colours now because normally I have to um, add in a couple that I don't have. But for the Christmas stitch along, um, I've pretty much got not every single blue and green, um, but an awful lot of them. And some of them are so close in shade. I don't know if you've noticed that, um, that you could have three blues and there's hardly anything in it. And sometimes unless you're doing a huge um, full coverage piece with shading and or like a face or something, although that wouldn't be in blue, but you know what I mean, with loads of different, very similar shades, I sometimes don't think it's worth it. Um, road trip Carla. Carla, do you want to come to Stuttgart and France? I don't think it's going to be that exciting. <laughs> it won't be as exciting as the American camper van stitching social on tour crew. Lizzie, was that you who rec who recommended, who um, suggested that at the Stitching Social? I think it was. I had one of these last night, actually. Um, went down very quickly. It basically tastes like strawberry pop. Um, it's the sort of thing I probably would have drank. Not that I drank gin when I was younger, but it's the sort of thing, you know, when you're a teenager. And you just like things that are fizzy and fruity and really sweet. Um, like Blue WKD. Did anyone ever drink that? Or Smirnoff Ice? What else was there? What was the first alcoholic drink? This is very alcohol based. Um, that you ever had as a teenager? Or like cider or something like that. Um, I need to get one of these pens. So what other news did I have for you? Um, it's good and bad. Um, here's the new style project bag. I know I've been going on about it for ages and I've been showing you all in the, in these videos. Oh yeah, hooch. Yes. Was that like lemony? I think it was. They did have a couple of different flavors towards the end. Um, so this is the, the new project bags. I am still, um, a Bacardi Breezer. They should make these still. Um, so these are the brand new style project bags I've been telling you all about for ages. They've got gold, YKK zips, um, black coil zips. I love them. It's a really nice thick canvas fabric with Carlos um, and this clear PVC so you can see everything. Um, different sections to keep different things in. And um, they were due to be released, what was it, a couple of weeks ago with the Camper Van Needle Minders. Um, I haven't got one on here. I've got Positivity Rules Rainbow. Um, and yeah, there was a problem with them when they arrived. They only arrived not long before they were due to be released. Um, the sample, if you're wondering why I've been showing that off for ages, is because I had, I've had that for ages. Um, and then I ordered quite a lot of them and they just, they weren't the same as the sample basically. And they just weren't right. And I was absolutely gutted that whole week, honestly. I was so disappointed because I was so excited to share them with you and I hate letting people down and I hate saying that something's going to be released um, and then not. And I don't think that's ever happened before when I've ordered something, specifically had a sample, you know, they took months to get right anyway. And honestly, you wouldn't believe how many different zips there are and how many different zip pulls there are um, anyway. So there's more coming. I'm told beginning of July and also the original style project bags. So um, what you could do, I think I'm going to release them around the same time, is you could buy one of each if you really wanted to. Um, those are, are, there's just more features to those, the new style. The original ones are simpler um, and more basic. It's a nice zipped pouch. Um, they've got Carlos on as well. Great to have handy around if you've got multiple projects and then you could use the brand new style one potentially for your current project. So you've got everything in there and you can see, bye Cathy, um, and you can see exactly what you've got in there. What am I doing? Um, look at how twisted that is. Um, anyway, so in July I'll be releasing the brand new style project bags and the original style project bags. Um, so I was just gonna say, I promise, it's kind of out of my hands, but I will do all that I can 
um, to make sure that that happens. Um, someone just asked before um, about selling them a discount. I'm not sure what's happening with them yet um, because they're being redone. So, um, <laughs> Nathan, yeah, rhetorical. Um, so I'm not sure what's happening to the originals and I'm not sure um, if I can sell them, if I would want to sell them. Um, especially since they've got the logo on, you know, you guys will know if you've been following me for a while. Um, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and by bit I mean a lot and um, I want every single thing in the kits, in the packaging, every single product, every needle minder is checked thoroughly um, to be perfect and I would hate to put something out there that's not perfect. Um, so watch this space, there might potentially be, I'm not sure. Um, Fiona, you've got three. Fiona, did you get any more at the Stitching Social? Because I know that I brought some there and I know quite a lot of people, what's the date, Hannah? Date for the bags. Um, I haven't got an exact date, but I think I've said to people around 10th of July. So around that, I think first week of July, hopefully, um, I will email everyone an update. Um, 98 people, hi guys. Um, if we're getting back into the swing of it now, um, I'll email everyone with an update. So make sure you sign up to the newsletter. Um, if you go on the website, there is a thing that says sign up to the newsletter. Um, and I'll email everyone when the bags are ready. Um, yeah, Fiona, because at the Stitching Social, I, can't, I think it was the second one that I did in November. Um, I think everyone had a bag already and kits. And then because we had the pop-up shop, people were going, okay, I'll buy more bags and I'll buy more. And, um, and yes, yeah, some people were buying like two, three, four, five bags. Um, cause you know, you don't have to use them only for cross stitch. They could be for absolutely anything. You could keep stationery, um, potentially makeup, jewelry, all kinds of things, just anything you need to store, um, and keep safe. Um, I wanted to talk about the sinner. Has anyone seen this on Netflix? Series three, came out a few days ago. Um, I loved series one, didn't watch series two because I tried to watch the first episode and it just really disturbed me. Um, they're all a bit disturbing to be fair, aren't they, the sinner? Um, Wendy, Stitching Social, let me come back to that. Um, Sharon, prices on the bags haven't been confirmed yet, um, but we'll uh, let you know ASAP if you sign up for email, newsletter, check um, Facebook, Instagram, I'll put all the prices up as soon as I know. I'm waiting to actually get them in um, and just confirm. Sinner, first series, amazing. Second series, just didn't like the thing with the young boy and it just disturbed me. Third series, um, absolutely obsessed. How many episodes are there? I don't know, I've watched five. It's gripping. I've never seen anything like it. So I was sitting last night with my rose gin and tonic downing this, watching the sinner, getting massively stressed and anxious, um, you know, especially when he was holding the baby. Um, oh, Cindy, not your favourite. Have you finished the whole thing? Natalia, yeah, I think, um, <laughs> Anthony, well, you could put anything in it, Anthony, anything you like. Um, Natalia, I think series three, yeah, it has its own storyline, obviously some of the same characters, so there are a couple of things that lead in, but it is a completely new plot. Um, Stitching Social, so again, sorry, complete um, 2020 breakdown. Um, so we were meant to have Stitching Socials in April and May of this year. Um, a couple of people have emailed and have changed their stitching social ticket for a stitch along kit, which is fine. Um, and loads of people said they wanted to keep their ticket and save it until it can be rearranged. Originally, I thought, and I'm still somewhat optimistic, um, that we would be able to have a stitching social in September, October. So not too far away. Um, and it would be the exact same format, 12 people getting together cakes and snacks and Prosecco, an exclusive cross stitch kit in a little box with a hoop and an exclusive needle minder. Hands up if you've got one from the first two. Um, you can't get them anywhere else, you can't buy them. Um, so I'm just waiting to hear. I was going to say, could it be outside? Not really. Um, 
but um, I've lost track of the questions. But yeah, Stitching Social, I'll update you all as soon as I know, but at the moment, if you're happy to keep your ticket, there will be Stitching Socials. I wanted to do six this year, so there were going to be two in April, two in May, and two in November, um, Christmas theme. Um, and probably even more for 2021. I love the idea of a road trip. I love the idea of going to different cities in the UK and potentially one day going to somewhere in America or hosting a cross-stitch retreat, potentially. That would probably be in England. Um, so for a weekend, whether that's one or two nights or some kind of cross-stitching convention where we can have tutorials and speakers and group sessions and socializing and all kinds of things. Um, long term I would love to branch into America because stitching is so popular there and so many of the Caterpillar Cross Stitch customers and stitchers are American. Um, so yeah, there will always be stitching socials, 2021 is going to be packed. Um, if you have a specific query or a problem, if you would like to swap a stitching social ticket you've already paid for, for a kit of your choice, please just email me info at caterpillarcrossstitch.com and you'll come through to me bethany who has joined she's finished her first month with us um new member of the team you can contact her and other customer support on support at caterpillarcrossstitch.com um, so you might have noticed lots of emails coming out from bethany um, if you've had any queries about things recently um, so that's an option there's also an option of having some kind of stitching social um, virtually of having a Zoom stitching social. So I'll post you out the boxes, all of the supplies and the patterns, but potentially only having six people in each Zoom call. Um, yes, Jennifer, great minds. Um, so um, we could do something like that. Obviously you're not getting the, the full experience of being there all together. We had music on, it was a beautiful art gallery, um, sort of craft art space. Um, called the Farthing Gallery last time. Um, so you, you were not getting unlimited Prosecco. Um, so the price would probably be reduced because you're not getting those things and there aren't the overheads of having the location. Um, but if we can't go ahead with having an actual physical get together um, by September, October, um, I probably am going to go with the Zoom option. And then fingers crossed for 2021, might be a little bit more back to normal. I hate it saying back to normal because I don't think it's going to be back to normal for an awfully long time, if ever. This is going to change the way we do everything. Um, but I love having that extra dimension to the business of actually meeting people one-on-one, -on -one, smaller group sessions. Um, it's wonderful in the Facebook group, as you guys are probably all in it. Um, Wendy, great, she's in. Um, but um, Caterpillar Central, what do you mean, Fiona? What kind of, oh, you mean at the offices? Thought about that. Um, and we could do, they are big enough. The only problem is I don't have enough chairs. And the other problem is, is that because there are beautiful fabrics like this everywhere, floor to ceiling, there's thread cones everywhere. Um, the old Prosecco situation and cake might not go too well with having about 30 odd, it looks like a haberdashery basically, a cross stitch haberdashery. Um, that would be the only thing we could do. I have got my own kitchen, so we've got the fridge. No way, Jennifer, a Zoom wedding. Bring your own cake, that's so cool. I thought loads of people, um, yeah, we could do Fiona, we could potentially um, have it there. Obviously, I'd still need to abide by any rules in terms of organised events indoors. Um, so I'm not sure how that would work. And I'm not sure it would quite be the same if we all had our masks on, because we would not be able to eat and drink or talk as much. Um, although we all have masks on in the office all day long, which at the beginning was really weird. And... Um, it was really strange because you can only see someone's eyes and we were having a um, a test to see if you could tell someone's emotion by their eyes turns out you can you can tell the difference if someone's smiling or moody <laughs> anyway um but we've all got used to masks 
I've got about five. I've got a variety. It's like clothes, um, depending on your mood. Today I went for black dress, black mask. Um, the only thing is when I'm running up and down the stairs carrying huge boxes of packaging, um, I then can't breathe, basically, and get a bit hot. Um, do you mean Kenilworth Castle, Lizzie, or Warwick? Imagine. Oh, it could be like a weekend retreat at the castle, like a, a medieval... Um, like a murder mystery medieval thing with stitching like they did in the olden days um kate i was looking at the wedding cross stitch kit a couple of days ago there's a couple of tweaks because one section is like solid stitching and you know i don't like that it uses up loads of thread it takes forever and i much prefer seeing a little bit of fabric um the wedding kit oh i can't see the rest daughter's getting married in 20 and then i couldn't see the last part of the year just put the year on so I know when your daughter's getting married. Um, it's not, it, the wedding pattern's going to be about the same size as Positivity Rules. So about 9 by 9 inches on 16 count Ada and about 10 by 10 inches on 14 count Ada. So it's a nice size, this big. Um, what's happening? I'm so uncomfortable on this sofa. 2021. Thanks, Carla. Hi, Emma. Um, so now I feel like I'm really high up. Anyway, um, oh yeah, plenty of time, Kate, for August 2021. Um, so anyway, the wedding pattern has not got that many colours, which is nice, um, and is not quite as usual for me. Also, um, many small bits and pieces. Um, it's a little bit like Hello Pumpkin. It's not a tree or anything like that. Um, but there's lots of small sections and also it can be personalised. Not sure how I'm going to figure that one out because the personalisation sheets that you can get on the website as a PDF download if you want to add a name onto any of the alphabet kits or patterns um, are about an inch. But for the wedding one they need to be about half an inch. So I'm going to have to design a whole new alphabet. Um, but there are traditional elements with a modern twist and you can personalise it. And it's a square and it's not too big and there's only about five colours um, so that will be released ASAP Danny and stitching the um, it's called get connected and it's going to say the Wi-Fi password is and then you can stitch whatever you like whatever your password is um, so it's in black DMC 310 the fabric I've lost the specific code of but it's a 28 count Lugana I'm stitching two over two and the shadow that I've done on the W and the I um, is stitched with DMC 932 which is a bluey grey. I've also completed this section which is my take on, um, I need to trim some of the threads off the back because you can probably see some bits of black, um, my take on the Wi-Fi symbol. Um, so this is going to be done soon. So I'm really sorry it's taken so long. Hi Sophie! Um, so I'm going to email this out to everyone as soon as it's finished. The pattern's finished, but as you know, I just like to have a proper stitch sample. I can check everything thoroughly, um, check every single stitch, and also photograph it nicely so you can see how you want to finish it off in a frame or in a hoop or something like that. Um, Abby, it would not be crazy whatsoever um, to stitch it for yourself. I once went to a um, pottery place, took my son, um, everyone else was doing like Father's Day gifts or gifts for the grandma. I made them make me a mug with my son for me. Um, what did it say? It had his hands on it and I think the lady in the pottery shop, she said, absolutely nothing wrong with that, you should get your own mug. And it, and it said on it, um, hands down, best mummy. And I told everyone, I was like, yeah, why not? Why not do something for yourself? Um, Danny, the Wi-Fi one. Um, so sign up for the newsletter, Danny. So if you go to caterpillarcrossstitch.com um, and scroll all the way to the bottom, there are a couple of boxes that say, would you like to join the newsletter? Also in the middle of the home page on that website, um, there's a section that says, sign up for the newsletter, I believe. But there's definitely one right at the bottom of the page. Um, and then when you sign up, uh, within 24 hours, you'll get an email from me um, that says, oh yes, yeah, sorry, yeah, it's the wrong way around. Um, 
Fiona, if you need another copy of all of, of the free ebook, can you just email um, Bethany support at caterpillarcrossstitch.com and she'll send you some more. Um, yeah, it's just the camera, not to worry, it, it is the right way around. Um, so if you sign up for the newsletter, you'll get an email. And if you're a completely new customer and you haven't bought anything before, um, you'll get 10% off your first order. And then you'll also get an ebook instantly to download that's got five free cross stitch patterns in Halloween cat, Valentine's Day, early bird on cherry blossom, mini cactus, and fly away, which is a butterfly pattern. So this is number six. And I'm sorry that I have not added to them more frequently. Um, Six in four years doesn't sound like a lot, um, but um, but yeah, it's just been a bit crazy, hasn't it? So what else did I have to tell you? Children's cross stitch kits coming along nicely. Um, they'll be released soon. Um, just sorting out the packaging. Um, I don't know if some of you know, um, but I really, really want the children's kits to be as good quality, if not better, than the main kits. I think, and as a parent of two young children, that an awful lot of children's craft kits in general are poorer quality at times. I think people think um, that it doesn't matter because they're kids or, you know, they're just cheap or, you know, they'll just do them for a couple of hours and they won't bother. These are not for young, young children. It will probably be age six and over, um, probably like six to ten ish. And I just really want them to have something that's great quality that they can put their heart and soul into, love doing, um, that they want to pick up and do it when they get home from school or on a weekend, just some time to take time out, relax, mindfulness, um, just, yeah, just be kind of calm and quiet, um, but really love doing it and also have something to store all of their bits and pieces in. Because I know loads of your children or grandchildren or nieces and nephews um, love looking at your kits and needle minders and bits and pieces and um, love all the accessories and stuff too. So I just wanted to be a smaller junior version of the main kits, but keeping the same quality, the same attention to detail um, so that, you know, the child gets to enjoy it um, the same way, is really proud of what they've done, they really want to display it. Some things with children kind of get shoved in a drawer or, yeah, that's nice, and then they forget about it. Um, but I think particularly with cross-stitch, so much effort goes in, literally, it's your own hands making it. You know, if you think about it, you've touched every piece of that fabric, every single piece of that cotton, it's got your soul in it. Um, so, yeah, I just want them to have a really great quality kit that they love, um, that means something. Oh, that's nice, Danny. Well, I hope that she, um, I hope that she likes it. I've got a long list of people, um, friends and family, who have got children who are slightly older than mine, um, who've said, "I'll be a tester or I'll be a model." Um, you know, can I have one of the first ones and test it out for you? I think there's five or six designs. Um, there's various fabrics. I think there's four different coloured fabrics. Um, am I doing this right? Yeah. Um, yeah, the fabrics are really vibrant. What have I got? White, sand, a bit like Seize the Day sand. Um, yellow, blue, pink. There isn't a huge amount of choice um, with the lower count fabrics. I think they're 10 or 11 count Ada, I need to double check. Um, the needles are bigger. They're still metal, they're still DMC. Um, I think they're DMC. I really should be checking this. Um, but they're still really good quality needles. Are they DMC? Um, but they're still metal. I didn't want, you know, one of the flimsy plastic ones. I want them to, you know, not think it's a proper kit. It is a proper kit. Um, and that only comes if you've got the best supplies. Um, so, yeah, there was not that much choice of fabric. But the needles are the right size for that fabric. So they should be really easy to stitch with. Help the thread to glide through the fabric. Um... Chris, thanks for being here. Um, yeah, double check you've joined the newsletter, Chris. If you're in any doubt, as I've just ruined my uh, stitching, um, just email us, support at caterpillarcrossstitch.com if you're not sure. Um, also, it's worth checking junk and spam email boxes if you've signed up for the newsletter, but also just generally because 
for some reason, um, all kinds of email providers have been blocking emails recently. Um, and even if someone's received something from us properly in the past, they'll then block the next email or especially if there's an attachment and things like that. So always check junk and spam because there might be one of our emails in there. Um, thanks, Carla. I, I can only see like the first line of people's comments. But yes, when this is over, I'm going to go and watch episode five or six of The Sinner. What else did I have to talk about? Um, Love It Stitch It coming along nicely. If you want to sign up for updates for that, just head over to loveitstitchit.com. Again, with the perfectionist thing. Um, Alex, glad your Hello Pumpkin is coming out to you. Um, I keep going, I keep tweaking it, adding new features. Um, just want it to be everything you could imagine, everything you could want wrapped up into one thing into one platform, tool, community. Um, if you enjoy cross-stitching or you want to learn or you enjoy designing cross-stitch, I mean literally anything to do with cross-stitch, be a part of Love It Stitch It because there is something for everyone. You'll be able to upload photos and convert them, sketch something out, upload and convert, upload graphics, design from scratch. There'll be tutorials, guidance, tips on how to design, how to choose colors, templates, fonts to choose from. You can add text, you can add elements around them. It can be six inches, it can be huge, anything you want. Um, what you do with those patterns is completely up to you. You can print them off, download them, do whatever you like. Um, but um, you can also sell them on the marketplace with one click. If you've spent all your time designing it, all you have to do is click um, upload to marketplace it will automatically auto complete the specifics the stitch count the dimensions depending on the fabric your name or the designer brand name the title of your design how much you're going to sell it for um, there's no listing fee it goes onto the marketplace um, you can you set your price it goes out to the entire globe and your design could be stitched by hundreds of people from all over the world um, so, uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited. I'm not exactly sure when it will be ready. Um, it's in the testing period. Um, so lots of tweaks and things, but it is nearly ready. Um, but things always take longer than you think. So probably September, October, it's taken a long time, but I really, really hope that it will be, um, ready for Christmas. I think that might be, um, a, a decent goal to say Christmas. What else? Did anybody watch the final of the sewing bee the other day? Um, I hadn't watched loads of it to be honest. There was a guy on it actually from my town here now in Kenilworth. Um, but I think he got knocked out of the competition a couple of weeks ago. Um, but it was so good. I did used to watch it years ago. I mean, it's been on every year, hasn't it, for a long time. I also watched um, like a pottery competition once. I don't know if that was with Fern Cotton, um, who also incidentally with her podcast, Happy Place, if you haven't checked it out, that's a really, really good podcast. She's also done a Happy Place virtual festival. It's normally a real life festival. Um, and I actually met her at a business event um, at the end of last year gave her a kit, said, are you a stitcher? Would you like to be a stitcher? Um, and she said, we should work together and come up with something for the festival. But obviously it hasn't happened. Um, or maybe she's just gone with someone else. I don't know. Um, but she does a lot for like mindfulness and relaxation and everything like that. Um, creativity. So I thought it would work really well. I think last year she did something, um, around embroidery or something. So anyway, I gave her a ton of stuff. Um, I don't know if she's actually stitched it, but it would be quite exciting. Um, other news, kind of similar to that, is that um, I will be doing an online free tutorial, a beginner's guide to cross stitch. It's gonna be about 10 minutes long, um, and it's going to be for, let me try and find the name of the organization. Um, there's an organization online 
who have created resources for people who are isolating still, um, who want to, sorry, I've just got all kinds of emails. I'm trying to find it. Um, all kinds of tutorials. It could be anything, cooking, gardening, painting, absolutely all sorts. Um, let me try and find it. It's called the Virtual Village Hall. I believe it's free. Um, there's one on there already from Georgina Bellamy, who I think does hand embroidery. That's a really nice one. It's like 50 minutes long, but it's actually really relaxing to watch. Um, it's from the Royal Voluntary Service .org .uk, and it's the Virtual Village Hall. Um, and I think there are a ton of free tutorials of all kinds of arts and crafts. So it would be worth checking out um, if you want to watch any of the other content. But I will be doing a free beginner's guide to cross stitch on there. Um, so hopefully that will go out to some people who've never really considered stitching before. Um, but I think particularly at the moment, if people are indoors or they're isolated or, you know, they're feeling a bit anxious or what have you, um, it could be really beneficial. So I hope that people get a lot out of it. Um, pottery throwdown, that was it. Oh, and the design, interior design, I saw that. I don't know if anyone else saw the first episode of that interior design programme, but they, they had... Um, does anyone else get that when you get a different colour thread on the back and it's sort of picked up while you're stitching? And because I've got black and grey, if the black gets picked up, um, it's really problematic. That interior design pro programme, they had designers that had such different tastes. Um, one was like completely wacky and completely out there. The other one was like really basic and classic. Um, oh, Fiona, thanks for saying that. Um, he does cut Carlo. Have you only just noticed that Carlos the Caterpillar has got his own Instagram account? Hi, Corinna. Um, you had no idea. Yeah, Carlos loves Instagram. Um, he posts pictures of himself in different places. You know, one day he's on a bag, one day he's on a needle minder, sometimes he's at the park. Um, nature reserve. He could be on a mug. He could be on a t-shirt. You never know where Carlos is going to be. I might also be trying to get a Carlos huge, I say huge, it's been like 40 inches, um, wall sticker made. Wall decal. Is that what they're called? You know, you can get them for children's bedrooms. A massive Carlos for the office. Um, you just got a notification. Um, so I think his Instagram is, let me find it, I'll show you. Um, Carlos the Caterpillar. He's very popular, don't you know, um, and has the most amazing adventures. He loves being the brand mascot, although he does seem to get fed up with me uh, quite a lot of the time. Um, he doesn't like the pressure or the stress of, um, you know, just being so famous. It's just Carlos the Caterpillar is his Instagram. Uh, let's see how many followers. He's got 55 followers, so he's not doing too badly. Um, his bio is, follow my daily adventures as the chief branding officer of the modern needle craft company, Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Um, so this is, oh, why is this? Is this working? I'll do it like that. Can you see? It's backwards, I know. But basically, he just tells you what he's up to. Here's Carlos in the park. He's in a log. Um, here he is on a cup of tea, anywhere. So, um, yeah, he loves it. Um, what's a plushie? Is a plushie like a soft toy? Um, do you mean that you want a Carlos as a plushie? Is that a thing? There will be owner. I think Carlos is going to love it. He'll be on Insta stories. He's going to get a big head. What else? Thank you, everyone. It, it has been quite a while, really, um, since our last stitching. I keep saying stitching social. Stitch with Sally Live. Um, thank you. Two and a half thousand pounds we raised for the NHS um, from the sale of... This is not working. From the sale of Positivity Rules kits during that month pre-order period 
which is just insane. Um, so thank you so much. Um, yeah, it it's way more than I expected. I didn't really know, you know, what we'd raise. Um, sorry, I'm looking at all the comments. So yeah, two and a half thousand pounds went to NHS charities together um, to help fight the coronavirus. Um, so thank you everyone for getting those um, orders in early on in that period. We've still got koalas, which the money is still going out to um, Australian bushfire charities and Wires Wildlife. Can't remember the rest of the name, but it helps the Australian wildlife. We've still got Be Brave Strong um, Cancer Research Need Reminders. Money goes out to them every six months and uh, Mind, the mental health charity. So if you go to the website, there's a section... Um, I think it's under about and it says giving back and there's a list of the totals for every single charity so far um, and there's thousands it's honestly it's amazing so thank you so much two pounds from the sale of those charity need reminders goes to the charities um, the accumulated is that right totals are on that page um, and every six months or so I add up how many have been sold yes it's included in bundles um, etc so I count exactly how many there are and then transfer that amount to the charities um, you're welcome Sarah thank you for all of your work um, glad you're enjoying it Danny so what else if anyone has any questions about cross stitch I'm sure you guys are all experts but if anyone has any specific tutorials that they want to see um, anything that they're not quite sure on um, that might be French knots, that might be back stitching. There's a video coming soon to the YouTube channel all about stitching on even weave um, or higher count fabrics that might be a bit tricky, linen, um, all kinds of things to do with more unusual fabric types, that's coming soon. There's a YouTube video that's just gone up in the last few days um, which is all about making a cushion or pillow, same kind of thing really. Um, this video is gonna go up on the YouTube channel and also, because a lot of people in the Facebook group, um, there's sometimes discussion over, does it matter which way round your stitches go? Bottom left to top right, or top left to bottom right? And also, is it okay to mix and match those stitches depending on if you're going vertically, horizontally, or doing confetti stitches, or whatever your style is? Um, so, all will be revealed in another YouTube video coming up soon. Um, so I'm going to set up the camera, film a hoop, demo all of the differences. I'm not telling anyone what to do. Um, it's just to show the differences. I'll try and zoom in as much as possible because that seems to be a common question. Um, gridding, Natalie, yes, I was just gonna say gridding. Um, grime guards is another one, thank you, Carla. Um, what else do we have? Can't think. But there's a few. But basically, let me know in the comments below if there's a specific question. It might be something that's been covered before, um, but if you would like me to cover it, or it doesn't necessarily have to be a tutorial. Would you like to see like a day in the life of Caterpillar HQ? Um, literally, Carla, all I just saw then was I got bottom. And I was like, what is she talking about? Where is this going? Um, yeah, a day in the life, so what we all get up to in the studio every single day, um, what it's like running a cross-stitch business, um, all of the background bits and pieces that go into making Caterpillar cross-stitch. Um, if you would like to hear about kind of my story, potentially, how the business got started, what I did before, um, any struggles or hiccups along the way, um, things like that. Um, what other ideas did I have? Ah, another one was um, what to do if you ever lose your cross-stitching mojo or enthusiasm, which I think strikes all people with all different kinds of hobbies or crafts. It doesn't matter what it is. Sometimes if you do it so much, for whatever reason, or put pressure, sometimes there will be periods where you just don't feel like doing it as much. So I thought it'd be really interesting to delve into that issue um and just have a chat about it and discuss what to do it doesn't mean there's a problem um sometimes you just need to take a step back and um reassess and come back to stuff when your heart is back into it um 
yeah, day in the life. I'm not quite sure. I feel like if I did day in the life and had camera set up, I'd give the game away and I'd end up like showing all kinds of stitch alongs and things because we have got a display wall and everything's up. And constantly, honestly, if, if I'm not ever on Instagram stories, I'm always thinking, what's in the background? Am I showing something I shouldn't be? Um, no, Fiona, I am not getting any time back. Uh, well, I tell a lie. I was basically from 20th of March. I worked seven days a week. Um, but since I've got two people in and I've got three people who work remotely, um, I have, so for the last three weeks, two weeks, this will be weekend three, I have not been in in the weekend, so I'm still pretty much going in five days a week. Um, I'm working on all kinds of other things, um, like Love It Stitch It, I'm doing all the boring things, like orders, tax, um, bills, insurance, um, what else have I done? Just all kinds of things, like dealing with suppliers, um, dealing with staff, managing, loads of things. A lot of Love It Stitcher, a lot of policies and documents. I've been doing the terms of use, which have been an absolute nightmare. Um, it does, I don't know if anyone doesn't know or knows, I used to be a solicitor. And although I didn't necessarily do corporate contracts, um, seriously, I'm glad I left because drafting these policies that are like 60 pages, is mind numbing but it needs to be done because it's a software company um, and like I don't know anything else that you use like you're using Facebook right now you have to agree to the terms and conditions which most of the time people never have a problem with but it's just to it's like to do with copyright and stuff like that so if someone was using Love It Stitch It and they uploaded let's say um, a Disney photo um, which was copyright protected and then passed it off as their own then tried to sell it on the marketplace obviously there's a problem with that so we need to have every base covered um, and stuff like that so yeah I'm still I mean whoever's met me there's always ideas there's always new things to be working on um, a convention a world tour <laughs> there's it's never-ending um, but my youngest is starting school in September all being well so um, I'll have even more time to devote to you guys um, but yeah I am managing to um, I'm not constantly going to the post office every single day I'm not there at 10 o'clock at night packaging things up but the girls are doing a wonderful job um, and if anyone's interested if anyone lives in or near to Coventry CV7 kind of way um, send me an email to info at caterpillarcrossage.com um, because we might be recru recruiting towards the end of this year slash beginning of 2021. Um, so it might be worthwhile sending you a CV um, if you're interested in um, some kind of production assistant work, um, like office assistant, creative type roles, um, that type of thing. If you've ever worked for an e-commerce company before or in customer service um, or with software or marketplaces, social media, marketing let me know send me your cv if you live nearby basically yes fiona uh do you think that that's aiming too high or do you think that's about right um oh i missed that someone just said that they did a 600 page handbook or something honestly charlie is moving house out of the question is this is that realistic <laughs> Here we go. So I've nearly finished my shading on my F. I did Google this the other day. What does Wi-Fi stand for? Wireless? Oh, I can't remember. Because my husband and I were going, we should really know what Wi-Fi stands for. What is it? Wireless? I was going to say frequency. It's not that, is it? What is your preferred needle? Oh, really? They bend? Um, so this one I'm using here is a DMC um, size 24 needle. All of the needles in the kits are by DMC. We either have size 24 for our 14 count aiders and 28 count even weaves. And we have size 26 DMC needles which go in the kits 
if you choose 16 count Ada or 32 count even weave. Fidelity. I don't know what that is. So we'll be doing another Friday Night Stitch with Sally um, last Friday of July. I'll give you the date now just so that you know and can prepare. Um, so that will be ah, 31st of July. I've got in my diary, my husband was meant to be on a sailing trip. Definitely not going to happen now. Um, it's bad, isn't it, when you look in your calendar or phone and you go, oh, I was meant to be here then. I was meant to do that. Um, but I think most of the things that we planned were over the summer. Um, so there's already been quite a few things that have been cancelled and I've just accepted and got on with it. Um, so I'm kind of over the worst now. I'm just looking, I'm looking towards autumn, basically. Linda, when am I releasing the next tree? July or August type of time. Um, Becky, that's strange with DMC 20, size 26. I've never had one bend or anything like that. I feel like that shouldn't really be happening with those. So I check, I don't know where you got them from or um, I think they're pretty standard. We did used to have um, golden eye needles, but they discontinued them completely. You can't get them anywhere. Um, Anthony, where are you going on holiday? That was going to be one of my questions. Is anyone allowed to go on holiday or any holiday plans that are actually still happening? Why, oh, right, wireless fidelity. Right, got you. I was confused as to why is everyone was saying fidelity. That makes sense. We're meant to be going camping, which I think will happen um, because we're outdoors and we're not with anyone and stuff like that. Um, sorry, Linda. Well, it is June and then we've got children's kits. We've got a wedding kit. We've got um, a summer tree is coming. Um, there's lots going on. We've got a Christmas stitch along. We've got two new project bags being released. A new needle minder to go with the Christmas stitch along and exclusive, um, we might, fingers crossed, be also launching a new and exclusive range, a range of one style, might I add, a Christmas style of Caterpillar Cross Stitch Grime Guards to fit onto Q-Snap frames. Um, so it will just be the one design, it will be a Christmas design on the fabric. Um, pretty classic, pretty modern. Um, but nevertheless, a grime guard. Um, so you can get one at the same time as a kit or any other bits and pieces. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. Thanks, Carla, for all of your help with that. Yeah, I think by August things should be a little bit better. Um, have I done this right? Yeah. So... Does anyone else ever put their needle at the back of their stitching? I do sometimes, if I'm doing something at the back. Hmm. So, you need a design to hold the needle mind as well, not in use. Do you mean like a metallic strip, Fiona, something like that? I know some people put them on their fridges, don't they? Or um, fires, like gas fires and stuff. Yeah, there's loads going on. Um, and love it, stitch it. Um, so there will always be three stitch alongs a year. There will always be new kits added. Also, um, if you know Spring Life, where it just says the word spring and then there's tulips and florals and things, there's going to be another three of those. So we're going to have summer, autumn, winter and um, with different elements. So they're going to be relatively short, long, but overall quite small, quite simple, eight, nine colours of thread. Um, so not too tricky, just a nice little add-on. And if you want to do all four, um, I can do them in a bundle. Um, there's a blog actually um, about bookmarks, Fiona, that came out a week ago, a week and a half ago, um, about how to make a bookmark. That could be a good free pattern, couldn't it? Just a small, you could do the spring life and the seasons ones. If you did them on 16 count Ada, that could probably be a bookmark type size. For scissors, and you can clip. People have those like scissor holders. Do they have them around their neck? Like on a chain or there's a charm or something on the side. 
what are they called? Scissor minders? Not sure. So, what time are we on? Quarter past nine. Doesn't time fly? So, here is the pattern. Um, originally, I had the whole thing printed, but then I changed Wi-Fi because um, I didn't like it with a hyphen. And I also um, changed it to be lowercase because if it is standing for wireless fidelity, then I feel like it should be lowercase. Um, so you can see I've added the shading down here. You can see here that I have um, got this horrible thread at the back, so I need to get rid of that. These threads are just... That's my needle. Don't worry about that. Um, so I need to get, get rid of all of these. The back's a bit messy, so I need to trim it off because obviously through this pale fabric, you can see the black really easily, which I do not want at the end. Um, so I don't need to be doing that. But you can see here I finished this row in this nice bluey grey and I'm doing the same as this eye over here. Um, so this will be coming out really, really soon. It's called Get Connected. Um, I've got my Positivity Rules needle minder. Um, so that's it. When you do the trees of the bundle, I will, Jennifer, yes. So if anyone wants to buy um, all four of the season trees, um, which will all be hello something so we've already got hello pumpkin um the summer one is going to be called hello sunshine um and i'm not going to tell you the names of the other two um, but yes you will be able to buy all four pdf patterns for those as a bundle or all four kits for the hello trees we'll call them the hello season trees um it's like when you leave one season you start another you're like saying hello to the new season but also it's a term of endearment like you might call a loved one or a child pumpkin or sunshine or something cute like that. Good morning, Mar Maricel. I was going to say Martial. Maricel. Good morning, New Zealand. You're the second person from New Zealand today. Um, yeah, Hello Pumpkin's been a really, really popular one. Um, so the other trees are going to be the exact same dimensions and the same shape and the same style. So you'll be able to have all four, um, I don't know where you might want to put them, um, potentially in the kitchen, bedroom, lounge, wherever. Um, Rebecca, the Hello Sunshine Summer Tree will not be a sal. I've got no plans for it to be a sal. It's just going to be released later this year. Um, it's really strange. I've got all the windows, well, not the windows open, but all the curtains open to try and get in as much light as possible. I've got all the lights on. Outside is actually going a little bit darker now. Um, and I keep getting people walk past and like staring at me like, what is she doing? I've got my computer propped up on loads of things. Um, and they're like, what is she doing? Because you can't actually see what I'm talking to from the window. So people think, what's that crazy woman doing? Um, yeah, cushions is a really good idea, Joanne, because they're really great size dimensions for that. Um, so yeah, YouTube video, all about cushions, if you're not sure. Um, and I think it's a blog that's coming out next week. Also, why have I waited till now? I just heard a bang from upstairs. Um, all of the alphabet kits are back in stock. So Baby Deco, Up, Up and Away, Baby Bunting, Watercolour Alphabet, the big one with 24 colours. Um, messy Letters, we've got a couple left. They're discounted. And we've got Alpha Splat, which is also being discontinued. So if you want Messy Letters or Alpha Splat, get in there now because there's only a handful. Um, but Baby Bunting, Baby Deco, Up, Up and Away, the balloons design, they're mainly fo focused for, not for children to do, but for a child's room or a baby's nursery, birth sampler um, and watercolour alphabet are all back in stock um, in the three colours, blues, pinkies and neutrals. I try not to have them too blue, pink and neutral. They've kind of all got a mix of all different colours, so actually they're suitable for anyone, as they would be anyway. Um, but they just give a range for those colour palettes. Um, so there was a lot of emails about when is Seize the Day coming back in stock. So we've got Seize the Day, Dash Away, Enjoy the Ride, Happiness. Everything's back in stock. All the alphabet kits are back. Um, so yeah, head over and have a look if you want to grab one of those. Um, hi, Anthony. Christmas card. Who's going to be the lucky one to get the card? So, the sinner is calling. Um, thank you all so much. I think we had like 95 people at one point. 
Um, thank you so much for joining me on your Friday night and sharing uh, this time with me. Um, let me know in the Facebook group what you've been stitching, put um, pictures up of your Caterpillar works, Sunday share, on Sundays you can share absolutely anything you want, um, if it's a Christmas card or a cushion or a quilt or a stocking, whatever you've been working on, if you design it yourself, um, any pattern, whatever you like. And also, if you're not already, there is also a Love It Stitch It Facebook group, which long term is going to be specifically for um, people who've used the software design tool to create their own patterns or subscribe for membership. Um, but get in there now while you can. And in that group, it's for friendship, support, community and um, tips. And you can share any pictures of any stitching you like. Um, so the group is just called Love It Stitch It. Um, thank you everyone for joining me. Have a lovely weekend, whatever you get up to. Stay safe. Um, I always do this. I start to say goodbye and then I'm looking at the comments. Um, Becky, there, there is an alphabet like that. Watercolour alphabet has the icons that are pictures which do start with the letters. So A is alphabet and so on. Uh, A is apple. H is hot dog. I is ice cream. G is, I was going to say guitar. V is violin, that's what's making me confused. I did design this like four years ago, so forgive me. W is wellies, which does confuse some people who aren't British because not everyone seems to call them wellies or Wellington boots. Um, but yeah, what else we got? We've got a sandwich. But yeah, there's different elements and icons. There's animals, there's a bumblebee for B. Um, what's C? There's all kinds of different things which represent each letter of the alphabet. Um, but yeah, stay safe, everyone. Um, I hope you're all okay. Love you all lots. Thank you for being here. Um, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.